Steph has a litre of water left. I've just drunk my last, so our mission this morning is to find us some water. We're only about 100 metres from the edge of the jungle now. So I've used up every last piece of energy I had. Eventually I can't lead anymore. I turn around and I hand the machete to Stefan. I say, I can't do this anymore. I need you to cut for a while. Either that way or that way. I feel like crap. We've, um, we've been going only an hour and already really tired. Since it on both of us, we just had enough of this. Just plowing through the swamp. The debilitating effects of dehydration are beginning to set in. It's 90 degree heat, and this is a dangerous place to get lost. They must find water quickly. Slow going. I've used up all of my water, and then it's all I can think about is water. Uh, it starts to play on my mind. I was spent. Finally, we went out of this uh, terrible uh, swamp. Pete was running out of water since hours, and it was this, uh, it was this canal. He was the most thirsty I have been in my entire life. I am desperate for water. Pete just filled his uh, bottle he put his pill to clear the water, but uh, you know, normally you're supposed to wait 30 minutes. Uh, but uh, Pete was so thirsty that he just drank the water and he drank a lot of water. Doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't care that that water was brown. some iodine tablets in it and some iodine to kill off any bugs. It's supposed to wait half an hour, I waited 30 seconds. It's funny how these trips like this, they make you appreciate really simple things, like a glass of muddy water. The Operatives, all new Sundays, right here on Pivot.